Hello les guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another simple but very cool game in Castle Walker. At the time of recording there is no price but assumed it to be another 499 masterpiece. Now, this was developed by Alexander Bondarenko, yes the same guy who made uh, The Explorer of Night and published by Desert Water Games. So in similar fashion to games like this, think many 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 jetalon games, Mushroom Saviour etc etc. This is the same in terms of achievements, anyway. Uh, gameplay is actually super, super cool, and the music, ah, it's just all old school, delicious, yum yum, mega awesomeness. And it's what made me enjoy the game even more, to be honest. Um, it is a side scrolling adventure where we just kill a bunch of monsters, etc. But for achievements, it is nice and easy. Basically, we need to kill 10, 20, 30, and 40 enemies, a story related one for completing the prologue. Drinking a potion, destroying a barrier, and killing a snake mini boss and dragon full boss. Don't worry though, they have very easy patterns and they die very quickly. And that's it! So doing this should take only sort of between 10 to 15 minutes, and we should pretty much probably expect some more DLC in the future. But for now, let us smash out that tasty, tasty, delicious 1k, shall we? Right, obviously what we're going to do then is start a new game, and the controls are very simple as well in the game. It's literally, you press the X button to shoot, and you press the A button to jump, left stick to move left and right. As we press any key, uh, where's the any key? Uh, to skip. And the music, the music on in this prologue level, just, oh man, I didn't want it to end. It's just so, so damn cool. So there it is, press A to jump, press X to attack. So you get these first bunch of monsters here, we're going to get the achievement of killing our first enemy, forgot to mention that one, but there it is. So just keep pressing the X button for now, don't get too close to those because they will come at you quite quickly with a creepy smile on their face. I tell you what, that's like your nan when she wants to go in for a kiss. Hey, come here. Right, watch out for these bats as well, you can probably just see their, uh, you know, shadow in the darkness right there. And as you get closer, as you can see, they do light up and try to attack you. Um, obviously, I mean, avoid spikes. This isn't only fans, you know. Uh, watch out for the wasps as well. They will come and uh, <laughs> try and get you from absolutely nowhere. So just be very careful. Don't jump too far ahead. As you can see, almost done the same thing there. I, I was just joking about only fans again. Please, please don't, uh, you know, hate me. Um, you can just duck under these bats as well. Um, and you can avoid the sort of flying enemies, which is all cool. So just keep waiting. And again, don't get too close to these enemies. You've got a couple of fire breathing dragons here. Um, so it can get, if you can't reach those, that's fine. These are going to sort of fly, uh, slam down on the ground. So try and avoid the fire if you can. Try and jump as high as you can. Even though there's only a certain limit that you can jump to, but that's fine. Um, and you should be able to just about, you know, you should have just enough. In fact, somehow you can jump higher than you can walk faster. Uh, watch out for these skulls in the ground, the skeletons. They do come at you quite quickly as well. And we should already have the killing 40 enemies achievement as well, so... That'll do. Uh, there's a snake there. He doesn't do anything. He looks... Uh, he looked kind of like he was just flaccid, doing nothing. Um, and we're basically coming up to the end of the prologue you now, which only took a good few minutes. So the only things we got are these um, weird broskies. Again, it's your nan coming in for a kiss. Ah! Kiss me! Kiss me! But of course, we don't want to do that. Because everyone's nan has a weird little moustache. Tickles you. Uh, so there we go. Um, just trying to avoid the nans right there. Apparently these enemies are called nans now for some reason, so we'll we'll take it. Uh, uh, well, hello! Where did you just come from, bruh? You've been having a nice chill, haven't you? You've been having a sandwich and a cup of tea while I've been doing all the hard work. Alright, we're gonna play it that way, huh? Right, so all we need to do anyway is just keep walking to the left, and then an automatic cutscene's gonna happen, and then we begin the first real level. Just enjoy the music. Honestly, I'm just... I am pumped listening to this music. It was so cool. Honestly. Such old school feel, old school feels even. Oh, here's the mega nan, the mega boss nan. Jesus, stop kissing me, nan. I'm joking. When you get older, a lovely little smooch from your nan is all heartwarming. It's just when you're a kid and you think you're all cool. Nobody can kiss me. I'm just a cute kid. Uh, anyway. Going off talking about uh, Nan's kissing you all the time throughout the video. Uh, that'll be the last time I'll uh, mention that one, I swear. I will get an automatic achievement here anyway for Hero Never Die. We are alive! Well, that's lucky. That's lucky that we landed on solid concrete then, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, you will get that. 
Right, so I'll tell you where we're going to get the first potions then. Spiders are going to appear now. Don't press the Y button. That is a special attack, and we'll keep we'll just keep those for the bosses. Uh, there's no point using them on these weird enemies. So you'll get potions and things like that from these uh, flies flying up and down. Um, we will get an achievement here as well for uh, drinking the potion. So uh, these mushrooms will shoot uh, projectiles at you, so just be careful with them. We, we're obviously going to get a, quite a few more enemies in this level now. A um, couple of spiders here, so we'll just keep pressing the X button, but remember, uh, with the X button attack, it's very limited. The range is limited. Uh, so every fly that you go past, it's always worth just smashing smashing them so you can get some regeneration. These flowers shoot fireballs at you, so again, be careful. Watch out for the bats as well, they can come at you quite quickly. So here comes one fireball. So either go to the left to avoid it or duck underneath it. Now these fish, they look harmless, but they will fly up, they will shoot you. So it's definitely worth shooting them before um, before moving on, because it just makes your life a lot easier. Now, uh, as we get another spider. Now this level definitely just reminds me of the Explorer of Night. Definitely has the Explorer of Night vibes. Here's the old magic mushroom then with the uh, Jeebus um, cross projectiles. Stay away from me, Jeebus. Not yet, buddy. Uh, again, just smash open this uh, fly, grab whatever you can, and that fly's not going to drop anything. Smash this dung beetle square in the old uh, poop snatch right there, that, that, that must have hurt him more than it did on the head. Now watch out for, I just get smashed, it's okay if you get hit sort of once or twice. We are going to be coming up to a checkpoint very soon. If you do die, you will probably have to start uh, back at the beginning of the level, which is, well that ain't handy. Um, we are going, watch out for the wasps here, we're going to get an achievement there for destroying the obstacle. Um, now I say not to use, it's up to you whether you want to press the white button here because the obstacles get a bit bigger. I end up just um, using a bit of our mana or whatever, you know, that stuff is just to get over this bit a little more quickly. Oh no, wasps! Watch out for the wasps, <laughs> the wasps of course. Uh, but it's up to you if you want to keep it specific. If you want to just spend an extra thirty seconds destroying the barriers there with your with your X button attack, that's fine as well. Um, watch out for more wasps again, of course. But if you just want to press the Y button to get through it a bit quickly, that's all good. So now the only two achievements that we've got left is for destroying the two bosses, and again, like I said, they are easy. So uh, make sure to smash open these flies right here. Rapid fire. Ah, oh, what a what a dumb. Well, I'm a bit of a dumbass. Here is where the checkpoint is anyway, which comes in handy since apparently I just love jumping on spikes. Uh, watch out for the Jeebus um, cross projectiles right there from the magic mushroom. Couple of flies with grubs. They will uh, attack you. These grubs um, from quite a far back. Quite a quite far back. Um, so just be careful of those, wait for the fish to kill it, and again just do the same, make sure, don't worry about the flies dropping them off or whatever it is, just kill the grubs first. Now there's going to be two fish that appear, so we're going to wait on the left side of the bridge, wait until they jump up and shoot them as quick as you can, dodge the projectile, grande! So again, just if you can, just shoot the grub before, you, they, they do jump from quite far back, so uh, you know, and apparently these monsters are a lot bigger than you. Because apparently, and again, apparently you can't run any more than an absolute snail's pace. So I don't know how and I don't know why, but well, that's that's uh, what, that's the stuff we live in. In the Explorer of Night Part 2. <laughs> it just gives me such Explorer of Night vibes, doesn't it? Right, this is where the first snake boss is then, and this is very easy. So we can literally stand here, keep hitting the X button. I, I would advise just keep your finger on the X button and all he does is shoot up these fireballs so when they start coming down we just need to avoid them and that's the only move of this snake. I would highly advise keeping your special move for the um, next boss to be honest because this is the only attack that he's got which is fine so again just keep shooting and then as soon as you see a fireball come towards your head dodge it but it's uh, pretty simple that one is very very simple. Uh, so we're in about sort of 30 seconds away now from uh, flying up to the next boss. We're going to get a couple more of these enemies, so shoot the grub there from the left. Hit this fly so you can get, um, well, a double jump, which... Again, it's very timed. Uh, it is timed, these uh, double jumps, these potions, of course, because they are just potions. Um, but the double jump doesn't really come in handy. We don't need to double jump anyway. But uh, it's always worth having for now, isn't it? So just keep jumping across, of course. Kill the old beetle. Stick a fireball in his ball. Keep jumping across. Almost died there. Another grub here on the right and left, so make sure to shoot these dead. 
Uh, don't worry about the two. They are stupid. They fall. Fireball! Fireball! Fireballs! Watch out for the fireballs! And we are coming up to El Dragonian now. So this is El Dragonian. Right, he's got three moves. So the first one, he shoots sort of single projectiles at you. The second, he charges you. And the third is like a flamethrower attack. So go close to him. Keep shooting him with the X button and then just jump. And then jump again. Now, let's start moving up to the left to jump up onto these platforms. Because he does start charging you. And then we can jump back down. Quickly uh, start shooting him again. And then as soon as his chin starts going, he's not crying. He's going to start flamethrowing you. So jump back onto the platforms. There we go. Because I don't know if you know this, but fire equals bad. Fire equals hurt and death. So that's the only three moves that he's got then. So keep shooting and then jump. And then jump for this third projectile. Jump for a little bit. Uh, shoot for a little bit. And then go over to the left. There we go. And then we're going to drop back down. Shoot as quickly as he can. As soon as his chin starts going. <laughs> no, he's not going to cry. He's actually going to burn your balls off, boy. We don't want your balls to be burned off, do we? Not girl balls, whatever. Keep shooting, keep shooting, sh jump, and this is pretty much as easy as it gets. And that will be the last achievement then, guys and gals. So, there it is. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. Like I said, I, I personally enjoyed it. I can't wait till they release DLC. Um, hopefully they do with some more achievements so we can crack on more with the game. Um, if you're obviously just leaving it here. But thank you so much. Um, I hope the guide helped as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Love you. And I will see you in the next one, guys and gals. Ba, 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 big love.